Hi, Joyful. Hi, you guys. Welcome to Laura Kane After Dark. I'm Laura Kane. Here's Eric Rimmer. Hi. And producer Brian. Howdy. You guys, we haven't seen each other in like two weeks. I know. It was nice. We have so much to catch up on. We do. Like so much to catch up on. Um, we Okay, where do I even start? How about we start with... Just saying hello to everybody. Hi, everybody on Instagram Hi. Live. Hi, everybody on YouTube Live. Hi, Julie. Hi, everybody who's listening to this after the fact or we watching after the fact. We missed you guys a lot. And here sits a box. Let me talk about the magical holiday box. I'm not calling it a Christmas box because it could be a Hanukkah box. It could be a Festivus box. It could be a Kwanzaa box. What's a Festivus? Festivus is just... Fest, that was a Seinfeld thing. I don't know. Is it a real thing? Festivus? I think somebody made it into a real like holiday after really? the Seinfeld thing. Who? You know, I don't know. I just included it. The okay? government? Or like- <laughs> I don't think the government made it. I don't think the government the, made the Festivus. Illuminati? <laughs> Maybe. Do we get a day off for Festivus? I hope yeah. so. Jeez. Are the banks closed that day? <laughs> now, look. Okay. Let me explain. We are going to raise money through this box for an organization called the Dollface Club. And that's the shirt that I'm wearing right now. The Dollface Club Sober Living Facility is uh, 13 women, 13 women currently live there now who are in recovery. It was started by a woman named Clea, who's also a designer. She designs all these clothes and the proceeds from all the clothes, sweatshirts, jackets, sweatpants, t-shirts, all these cool things, these cool collections that she creates, the money goes towards the house. Everything in the house has been thrifted and redone and she's just super artistic. This woman is also in recovery and she just wanted to create a place for women to go to feel empowered and that's why she formed the Dollface Club. Anybody can join. There are several upcoming things that the girls are doing. For example, in January, there is, uh, they're, they're going to be doing bingo for the homeless people at Father Joe's. And all you have to do is buy a $20 Dollface Club t-shirt and you're in the Dollface Club and you get to help out with the bingo, which I will tell you more about. But I just want you to know that this woman and this organization empowers women, empowers young women to do really good things. And so that's where all the money we raise from this box will go. Now, we haven't put the link on our website yet, but we will. Each entry is $5. Each, you can enter as many times as you want. But let me show you what is in the magical box. Okay, this is what you have a chance of winning. Ooh. First of all, we have your basic Laura Kane After Dark merch sweatshirt. Okay, so there's that. Boom. Then we have... The box that we've been talking about from San Diego Crystals oh, and Jewelry. Oh, that's really beautiful. Oh, wow. Hand-carved wooden box lined in red velvet, filled with crystals and necklaces and jewel and bracelets and a sage and just lots of cool things. Here's one of the necklaces. Here's the bracelet. A goshwa. Do you know what a goshwa is? Yes. No. It's the thing you use to put, uh, like help your face oh. like it I'm massages man, so. your well he uses one I yeah use but it. eric is eric i know it's true <laughs> but um so that is also in the box this is worth 150 dollars. okay then we have i love our sponsors so much we have this which i printed out Two hundred dollars cash money from this man jay wurzler Yay, at capital jay. growth inc okay two hundred dollars then we have $500 to be used at La Jolla Cosmetic, either the med spa, oh. or you can put it toward a surgery at the surgery center. Plus you get a one-year membership to the Glam Fam, which is worth $120. It's a year's worth and you get like a bunch of perks. So this is a $620 value. You get this, this, that, and is there anything else? Not yet, but this so far is worth $1,000 if you add it all up. 
150, 620, 200, and then I put a couple of other little necklaces in there from um, San Diego Crystals and Jewelry. So anyway, this is what's in the box. Each entry is five dollars. Proceeds, some of the proceeds will be going to the Dollface Club to help them keep the lights on in the house, to help them decorate or help buy games for the girls if they, you know, sometimes it gets a little monotonous being in a sober living facility. So I think this is a great thing for awesome. us to um, to help with. So that's what this is. And I'll let you guys know when the link is on our website so you can go ahead and start donating. You can donate as many times as you want. Your name will go into a hat, a box, a bowl, whatever, and we will draw the name, our last show of the year, which is the 21st of December. And you get all of this stuff. Okay. Hey, anybody that's watching, what line is this movie from? What's in the box? <laughs> What's know, in the box? I, I almost started with What's that. in the box? Oh, uh, Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> now, oh I want to see God. if anybody watching knows Of course they about. know. Everybody it's, knows it's that. Pursuit of Happiness. Everybody knows that, Eric, I think. Not everybody. What's in the box? The Polar Express. Final <laughs> answer. You know what? <laughs> I can't stand that movie. No one can. The movie's not. I fun. hated that movie. Okay. I'm yeah. so glad you said that. I thought that it was like beloved. I don't know. So. I hated it. I'm sure some people like it, but I don't think it's beloved. Hi. I, I can't stand Hi, Michael watching. Tyler. Elf, Elf is beloved, but. Yes. And yes. I, I love Elf. Elf is great. Tim Allen, Santa Claus movies. Those okay. Are beloved. I watched... What about Bad Santa? No. Ugh. That's kind of funny, though. So dumb. Sure. Okay. Oh. I watched the slowest movie over the weekend. Mm. Well, um, so you don't recommend it? No. Is it, it new? Yes. Is it, it in theaters? No. Well, I for a limited run, yes, but it's on Netflix. And it's with Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman. Oh, I watched that thing. And it's thing. called May December. I'm over it. I, I, it's. Ugh. It was like, that's it. Yeah. Kind of like these two amazing Jody, actresses. Hi, you hot dish. Hi, Jody. Um, those you look so good on Saturday. Those two amazing actresses did not pull. That was not a, an amazing movie. I would have rather watched Popcorn Pop in a microwave. For two hours. <laughs> well, the movie that. is about, wait, I can't. It's, it's loosely based on Mary Kate Latorno. Do you remember that name? No. So she's the teacher that had sex with her student and got knocked up and they got married. Hmm. She was like in her 30s and the student was like 14. Yeah. They got married and had like many kids yes. and they were together for a long time and then she died eventually, yeah. I think. She did. A but, couple of years ago of like cancer or something. That's but, this that was the movie based on Hi, happy to see you too. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it it uh, What a snooze fest. Yeah, don't bother, don't bother, don't bother. Okay. They they actually had to release something to explain the ending to people that had seen it. And uh, here's how I much I didn't care. I didn't even read it. I didn't even know that they did that, and I didn't even know that it ended Im improperly. You didn't watch the ending? I don't even know. I probably fell asleep. It was... Oh, right, Julie? Yeah, it blew. <laughs> Julie saw it, and she said it sucked. Oh, my God. It sucked the biggest bag of dicks. We had such Just high like hopes Jerome's. for this movie. Stop with that for now. Oh. You've, you've done that enough. I think we've covered that. Really? Wait, yes. do you have an issue with Jerome's? Hey. Oh, I do, Brian. Would okay. you like to know why? A little bit. God. First, let's talk about, since our amazing sponsors have stepped up and yes. donated such incredible gifts to the holiday box, the magical holiday box, mm -hmm. let's talk about La Jolla Cosmetic. Now, let's. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center is a place where you can go get yourself some lipo, you can get your eyes done, you can get your boobs done, that's what I did, and I've never been happier the med spa, you can get your Botox, you can get your filler, you can get 
La Jolla Cosmetic is just the place to go. We're so lucky it's in our backyard. Here's more about yes. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Hi, Center. Hi, Dr. Riedler. <laughs> Hi, Moni. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center is the place to go if you're looking to rejuvenate your appearance, tighten and shape your body, and just do something special for yourself. You deserve to look your very best. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center offers over 90 procedures and treatments for a natural, youthful appearance. They are absolutely the best in the business. Try out their treatment planner at glamfam.com. It's so easy and amazing to use. We can't say enough great things about their board certified plastic surgeons and guess what? They offer flexible payment plans so you can start your journey to a better you right now. Free consultations too. The very best in the business is in our own backyard. How lucky are we? Make sure you tell them that Laura Kane After Dark sent you. We love everything about La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center. Go to glamfam.com Another one of our fantastic sponsors. He's been with us for through thick and thin. He and has. That's- uh, I think Jay and I actually have a date set up. Oh my yes. God, look at my shocked face. This still hasn't happened already? No, I've been too busy. He, he says just, that about everything. All yeah. he needs to do is get some documents together. Do you know, together. I just started looking at my schedule on December 1st. I started looking at my schedule for December and I'm so stressed out. You know you can say no to some things. I, it, it, it's impossible. I have so much stuff going on. There's not one thing that you can just say, sorry, I can't make it. I have had to. Okay. And yeah. that's okay. Yeah. We don't want get, to get overly stressed. This I is don't like want to be overly stimulated. This is supposed to be a fun, happy time of year and not a stressful time of year. Right? Um, Allegedly. Okay. So Jay Wurzler from Capital Growth Inc. So graciously donated $200 cash money to our magical holiday Jay. box. You're awesome. Here's more about Hi, Jay Terry. and Capital Growth Inc. Are you ready to take control of your financial future? Look no further than Jay Wurzler, your trusted and our favorite certified financial planner. Life is full of financial decisions, and with 30 plus years of experience and a dedication to your financial well being, Jay is your partner in achieving your financial goals. So if you're at or near retirement and you want to know if you have sufficient assets and income sources for a comfortable retirement, or if you are simply changing jobs and you're unsure about what your options are with your current retirement plan, please reach out to Jay. Jay Wurzler and the team at Capital Growth go the extra mile to ensure your financial success. Their office is a one-stop shop for financial advising, estate planning, tax preparation, and divorce analysis. Call Jay today at 858-552-6960 or email him at jayw at capitalgrowthinc.com. And before we get to our host chat, which is I'm going to give you, well, no, I'm going to do that on Thursday. I'll just talk about what's been going on in my life on my house chat. And then you have something for your house chat, obviously. I do. But let's talk about San Diego crystals and jewelry. Two locations, one in OB on Newport. That's the one that Evan and I found this summer and couldn't get enough of. Jewelry, crystals, gold, silver. They fix jewelry. They make jewelry. They do everything. They've donated that beautiful box. And I went and saw their La Jolla lo- location last week. Uh-huh. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, on Prospect, I can't wait to go. Right in the heart there, um, right next to, right across from Duke's La, oh, La Jolla. Yeah. I know where that is. Mm-hmm. It's right there and it's big and beautiful. And they have these really pretty scarves as well as the jewelry and this crystals and everything. So two locations, San Diego crystals and jewelry. And the guys are so nice. Eight brothers that own these two stores and they are awesome. Tell them that Laura Kane after dark sent you and they will give you an amethyst crystal. Awesome. Big one. Yeah. For free. Okay. So host chat time. Gosh, so much has happened since I've seen you guys. I know. It's weird going a week without doing the podcast. I missed you guys. I didn't I missed like my it. little family. Me I, too. Yeah. Did you miss us, Brian? A little bit? Just a tiny bit. What happened to you over the break? Oh, just some great <laughs> things. <laughs> I miss Eric. <laughs> oh, and come on. Laura. I miss Thank Laura. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I, I, I liked being able to stay at home Monday night, though. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. And we're only doing this Tuesday night because someone had something going on Monday night because he's so busy this month. I am. (laughs) But next week, we'll be back to our regular Monday night schedule, just so you know. Oh, by the way. What? No. No. (laughs) I'm kidding. Don't go there. I've already, I've had enough of your schedule. (laughs) I've had enough of your freaking schedule. 
<laughs> um, okay. So my host chat is all about how I got to see both of my children this last two weeks. So Evan came into town for Thanksgiving. She was here and we got to go to my mom's house. We drove up to Ranch Cucamonga real quick, had Thanksgiving dinner up there. She came back, she saw some friends. It was awesome. Then she flew back to New York City. She's coming back in the middle of this month for a couple weeks, which is awesome. And then surprisingly, Charlie and Maya came just a couple of days ago and they stayed for three nights. So I got to see both my kids within this week that we didn't see each other. And I'm telling you something, neither of you are parents, but you guys can relate. Thank God. That you know of. (laughs) Right, right. Uh, I definitely know that I'm not. Yes, I think he's pretty good. He's pretty locked in. He's pretty locked in. Um, GSG. What does that mean? Gold star gay. Oh, he's a gold star gay, yes. No vaginas ever in right. his life. They should actually hand out gold stars for that. No, Just gold star gays if you haven't even been through a vagina. No, that's the platinum. Oh, that's how, hot Lee's a platinum. How the hell? Yeah. Okay. No, you get if you C section. That's, <laughs> that's the highest level of gay you can reach. Yes. And I'm hot Lee so is bitter. That, that, I know. I'm so bitter. <laughs> I know, I'm Mom. Gonna fight, I'm gonna fight Lee. <laughs> God, it sucks that you were born. Vaginally. Yeah. I know. So you, did. Just you know what I'm going to do? I know. Next, next time Lee comes into town, I'm going to take him to like Hooters and just like push his face in a vagina. I'm going to trip him. I don't think that he has an as much of an aversion as you do. I think that he would just, he would look at one. You won't even look at one, which is why I'm going to bring a diagram in one of No, because I'll turn to stone. <laughs> no, you're not. Or one of those like 3D models they have. That no. Kind of called this no. Uh, yes. You know uh, what? No. I can put his finger up there or something. Ew. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh. Uh, one of those birthing uh, simulator uh, dolls. There's oh, something. I would gag in my gynecologist's office. It's no. almost like a puzzle. You can take no. apart the pieces. Uh, that is not so one puzzle do, that like, I will play. <laughs> figure out how the vagina the goes back together. The fallopian tubes and then the the labia. Well, listen. If figuring out how it goes that. back together, I'd be playing that thing for a year. It'd be worse than a Rubik's Cube. It totally would. <laughs> I don't know if you were ever were able to figure out a Rubik's Cube. No, were you know you? what I used to do? Yeah, I used to get so There's frustrated to that it. I would take the stickers off and then stick them back. Yeah. On. You cheated with the Rubik's Cube? I would get totally frustrated and I'd be like, well. There's a way to do it. What is the secret? There's, it's just like a formula. And did you figure it out or did you read about it? Oh, I looked it up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no. like So irritating. Well, see, do- uh, th- back back when I was a kid, they didn't have any of the stuff that you could look at. There's just a pattern. Like there's just a pattern you do continuously. And then once you get to a certain stage, pattern changes and it's solved. But I don't recommend doing that because then they, the stickers fall off. Can you do it like no, that, fast? Do it that fast? No. You know how those people do it super fast? Um, so that was, I had like the greatest couple of days because I'm telling you as a mother, nothing, nothing in this world is better than being with your babies. Not one thing. And it was cool because Maya got yes, to come. Wait, what? Watching a Golden Girls marathon. Oh my God. You have no clue. No clue. <laughs> anyway, so it was really great. I'm so happy. Um, Maya and Charlie told me, well, they want to get married in July, but they're things are kind of changing off and on because of money situation. You know how things go when you try to plan a wedding, like sometimes you have to change it. Well, they said, you know, we might just start having kids. Oh, no, 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 no. They should get married for legally. They want to be a family more than anything. That's cool. I know. You know what? I figured, you know, that's his life. He's found the woman of his dreams early on. Yeah. And why not? Can you imagine me being a grandma? No, though? they need to yeah. travel and do things first before they get kids. No, you have kids. Some ready. people. Yeah, I'd have kids. I'd have kids like oh. maybe not tomorrow, but yeah, some. I'd have some kids, like, I need next to year. sit down and talk to both of you. They well, kids not you. You just hate kids. <laughs> kids are great. Yeah, they're great. They should get legally married though for the tax benefits first, though. Yeah. Which they might, great. and then have a party, and do that like, whole thing. It's just like go to the courthouse and have a wedding later. So I probably aired some information they probably didn't want me to, but anyway, I just thought that that was interesting and, and cool. cool. That's and exciting. cool. It is exciting. It's very exciting. So um, 
after Sorry, the host of, chat and before your double D, yes, I have a test for you. But okay. I want you to do your host chat first. My, mine first. Yes, you having trouble okay. with our yeah, new I'm, headphones? Wow. Sorry, uh, sorry, I'm falling apart at the seams. <laughs> there we go. So what's up? What happened? What's going on? What do you mean? What's your host chat? Oh, so I ordered the most amazing thing on the planet from amazon okay i'm putting it on our amazon store it's called a f massaging foot mat show the people on instagram too massaging foot mat from amazon yes so is this for people that have sore feet obviously yes you can use it on your hands you can use it on your forearms i even sat on it <laughs> For your butt, your butt yeah. circulation. It was, uh, sore. It. <laughs> I walked. Did right it into tingle? That it one. did it tingle? Yes, it relaxes and boosts circulation. So oh, what that's it is, good. it's incredible because I did not know this. Did you? That as you get older, the nerves in your feet start to die because they're the farthest away from your heart. So this regenerates them. So this mat, this mat. Oh my God. You have no idea. Regenerates so, those. Things. And it, it says on here there, it'll tell all the different parts of your body. So like your liver, your uterus, um, the genitals, I don't know um, I believe in that stuff. Is that Hammer. kinesiology? Is that what no, like kinesi kinesiology is, is movement. So you have like, well, muscle well dynamics. what's Psychology. the thing with re Oh, is that what that is? Where you find like the point on your know. foot, which matches I think your it's acupuncture still. Well, Anyway, I don't, I don't that's know if so I buy it, but it comes with this little um, conductor that you snap on to these two little conductors, right? Okay, here's the, the what it looks like. Here's so what it looks like. The main thing. Um, how much was this? This was about fifty. Okay, and you say you think it's worth every the money. penny. Okay, it had like twenty five thousand reviews. Oh, um, you press this. Now, I want you to just put your... Do you have rings on right now? No. Okay. Put both your hands on the pad. Okay. Stand up. Because <laughs> okay. you're going to want to get it... Okay, ready? Like like yes. forcefully oh, put them sorry. on. Oh, okay. sorry. I have it upside down. <laughs> okay. There we go. Hold on. This is going to shock me and stuff. No, no, okay. no, no, no. How many times have you used this? Oh, I use it almost every night. Okay. So, oh! uh, just put your hands there. Whoa. Yeah, put your hands there. I told you. I kind of didn't like that. Okay, just put your hands. Now, there's different settings. Well, okay. So. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know. Now, that's only whoa, four. Whoa, whoa, there's whoa, whoa. There's 19 levels. That is really an incredible what sensation. Come up here and feel this. No, I'm good. What is it? So, it, there's different. There's like. like electronic pulses that are going oh, through it's just it, muscle contractions that's what like the, uh, the birthing Woo! simulator simulators so, do oh yeah for uh for ah! that it. was too high <laughs> this is does at it six. feel good on your feet oh it feels so what, good what level do you use? okay right now oh, it's i use it i go up to about 10 now the first day i did it i started at 19 and i thought i had been what? tasered <laughs> so it go, oh, goes through like a cycle yeah it goes through a cycle <laughs> This is kind of exciting. <laughs> wow. I know. Isn't it cool? Can you target certain areas of your... Yes, you can. Have you tried the genital one yet? <gasps> I, I have not. <laughs> what if you put your dick on that? Oh, I, oh, I would not want to know that. what would happen. What about just on level oh, one? Oh, God, that feels so good. I dare you to wrap your wiener in that and do level Hell one. Hell no. <laughs> But Jesus, I bet Laura. the feet would be great. Like, just to but, sit and watch TV. Okay, so do you see my arms going up and down like I'm doing a push-up? Yes, yes. I am not... You're not shaking them right now. No. Wow. This is cool. So after I did the walk with Karen... Yes. I bought the She Bought one. Yeah. And that helped regenerate oh your God. dead... Uh, my dead nerve Your endings. dead nerves from walking yes. 20 miles. So it's about... I'll put it on the site. It's about 50 bucks from Amazon, and it's worth every penny. You mean I'll put put it on the site? Yeah. No. And it has a little recharger on it, so you can plug it in. 
and recharge it. Excellent. And it takes about maybe 20 minutes. Super easy. That's really cool. Comes with a little instruction booklet and stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I have something that I want to use on Eric. Oh, boy. I have come to believe. Oh, boy. Here we go. And this is not a diss on you, really. It's going to sound like one, Eric. Oh, boy. But I feel like we may have been lied to with regards to one certain celebrity. Now. Oh, are we bringing this up again? But I'm going to tell you why I'm bringing it up. Yeah, I would like to hear more about this. Mm Mm-hmm. I found something that is going to prove once and for all whether or not he is telling the truth about actually meeting. Oh my God, I think I know what you're gonna. Okay. Oh brother. Oh, this bring it on. This is a lie detector test. Oh wow, it looks like one for sure. It's a lie detector test. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what the cops use. Okay, now. <clears throat> is it on? Yes, it's on. Okay. Now, I want you to put your hand, it's not gonna do anything yet, put your hand in there. Wait, let me do something real, real quick. <laughs> okay, wait, wait till it goes off. See, he does, makes a scary sound. Now, we're going to ask Eric the question. If this thing shocks you or bites down on you, you're lying. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't, well, you're telling the truth. He's getting a little nervous. Okay, stick, I'm not nervous at stick all. Stick your hand in there. Okay. Now, Eric, and, yes. I, and then I have to push a button. Okay. Did you? Well, you have to ask me questions first. To prove that this thing works or does not work. So ask me my name. That's true. That's a fair me, point. Yeah. You gotta establish a baseline for credibility. Duh. And I don't a, like that idea. You're not a That's very good interrogator. That's how they do real lie detector tests. That's how they no, re- no, but come on. What do you mean come on? Ask what me is? what my name is. We gotta build suspense with this first thing. Okay, okay. Eric? Yes. What is your Welcome name? Watch. Eric Rimmer. Okay, that's what you have to start. Okay, now if it shocks you or bites down, it's thinking. It's reading your palm, supposedly. Mm-hmm. Okay, you passed. Mm-hmm. You passed. Eric. Mm-hmm. Am I your best friend? Yes. This doesn't look promising. Let's see. It's thinking. Do you feel a shock at all? No. Okay. That was a pass. Um, okay. Eric, I didn't get shocked or get bit down on. Were you once a fashion model? Yes. For Hugo Boss. Yes. In the night. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, here we go. Mm-hmm. I think I'm doing, if I hope I'm doing this right. Okay. Eric. Yes. Did you meet in person Keanu Reeves downtown six months ago? Yes. Okay. Did you meet Keanu Reeves downtown in person, Eric? Yes, Laura. Okay, you passed. <laughs> now, this thing. Okay, let me let me do it to me. Do it to me. Okay. Okay, I put my hand in the sensor. Okay. Now, what do I push? Push this. Now, Ask me a que- ask, ask you a question yeah. first. Push it and then ask me a question. Is your name Laura Kane? Yes, my name is Laura Kane. Oh, the, the bing is yes. Okay, so I'm learning how to use this thing. Did you not read the instructions? I did, but you know what? There, the, it's the kind of instructions that were translated from like Chinese, <laughs> so they make absolutely no okay. sense. You know, like the, sure. every all the words are conjugated wrong and everything mm-hmm. it has two modes it has like this mode this well, electric mode and it has the biting down teeth mode oh that's cool i'm gonna ask ask me if i like brian 
Laura, do you like Brian? Yes, very much I like Brian. Okay. <gasps> that wasn't a ding. Is okay. Let, no. Now mm. ask me one more, and then if this, this thing doesn't bite down, then ask me something that I'm going to lie about. Okay. Laura. Well, press the button first. Oh. Oh, I've got one. Do you love vegetables? I love vegetables, especially zucchini. <laughs> we haven't seen it call anyone out on a lie yet. Now, look. This is what the thing looks like. This is what it looks like. When I was playing with it by myself, it was biting me like crazy. Really? Wait, let Brian, me see. Oh, it. okay. I have a good question. Ask okay, me. Okay. Ask me this question. Okay, 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 okay. Ask me. Put it in, and then let okay. me start. Okay. Ask me if I like vaginas. Oh, okay, I'm gonna <laughs> do this mode. Eric, do you like vaginas? Oh my God, yes. Wait, do it again. Do you like vaginas, Eric? Mm-hmm. Yes. Love those vaginas. Okay. This that, is a dead. Wow. That thing is a POS. <laughs> this thing, I swear to God, was working. But anyway, guess where I got it? Timu. Yes, I got it at Timu. Which, by the way. Oh, come on. Let's, let's not. There's no contest. Brian. Oh, I'm, I'm looking it up. Here's, See if I can find instructions. Thank you. Now, Eric and I have decided that we're not going to do your traditional Christmas, nice Christmas gifts this year. We decided to do something funny and buy each other again, the because we don't think we found the worst things on Timu. Oh, no. Okay. However. I just did, though. Um, we're not going to have like a vote. It's not going to be a poll, but we're going to <clears throat> do this on our last week, the last week before our Christmas break. Yes. And we're going to open up all the gifts. Mm -hmm. I have like 10 things for him. I have, I think maybe a few more for you. Now mine run the gamut from clothing to housewares to shoes to other things that you will need in your everyday life. Same I've, here. Oh, I was under the impression that you only bought me clothing. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. This place is going to look like a shit box. I can't even wait. I am getting the show one thing. I, well, I already have a present for you. I already have a, a present for you, too. It's not from Timu. It's okay. a good And a it's good not one. from Timu. Okay. Yeah, you're the only one getting <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate that. He's going to, let me just tell you, when I give Brian his gift. Oh. I hope it's from Keanu Reeves or something. In which case, you should just give it to me now. <laughs> then well, read I, the instructions and let's do this again, because I'm okay, feeling okay. like Hold I'm on. not, <clears throat> I'm like losing hope. I, okay. I love you and I trust you with my life. Okay, here we go. Here's Same some instructions. Here. Okay. Put your hand inside the lie detector. Okay. Make sure each finger can touch the sensing point. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Because the red light is on. Mm -hmm. Pressing it will prompt you with a tone indicating which mode you... Oh, okay. So if you, there's a mode button on top, right? There's a mm -hmm. mode right here. So uh, when you press it, whichever sound it makes is the effect, whether it's the teeth biting or the electric. So press it. So yeah, press it. So press that mode button right there. So that's electric. Okay. So press Laura. It again, it will switch to... Press Are it again. you a lesbian? Press it again. Okay. Pre Press the start button. The lie detector enters the preparation mode. Press the lie detector again to start the lie detector. Okay. So press it once. Laura. Wait, not yet. Not yet. Right? Press it once. Go ahead and press it again. See what happens. Okay. Now. <clears throat> ready? Are you a lesbian? Hold on. I just pressed. <laughs> okay. No, I am not a lesbian. Okay, that that the ding must be that it's okay. real. We're not liars, I guess. It's not enough. This mm, thing. We're not. Try to uh, now do an obvious lie or something. <laughs> okay, so do I do the mode thing again? No, no, no. It's on teeth clamping mode. Okay. Okay. Just press start first. Uh huh. Laura, do you hurry? How much do you love anal? I love anal more than anything. 
in my whole life. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is a piece of crap. Of course. I thought it would be funny for here. <laughs> Brian, you get it to work. <laughs> I thought this would be so great. We'd catch Eric in a lie. Nope. But, um, okay. All right. All right, then. Um, Start, it says star. I know that's like how like <laughs> Chinese it is. Um, okay, so well, because it's it's you can always put a plant in the mouth, yeah. I mean, it looks cool, it makes a good decoration for for this house on the shelf or something, yeah. <laughs> um, elf on a shelf. All right, let's do your double D. Oh boy, we have a lot to cover. We do. Some of this I know, some of this I don't know. In fact, most of the stuff you tell me, I have no idea, and I love it. That's good. All right. First, this isn't really dirt. I just have to. I don't know why I'm fascinated by her, but what? Did you just... I got to work, I guess. It bit down on me. I oh, it did? I wasn't thinking about anything. <laughs> <laughs> what did you push to make it bite down? Just the Same moat? Thing, yeah. No, just, Start and moat? It just did its thing and it bit down on me. Maybe you're overall a liar. Hey, that, would, that would make sense. <laughs> did you ask it if Laura's boobs were real and you said no? Or you said yes? Yep, that's exactly yeah. what I asked it. <laughs> try, it try it one more time and then we're going to put that freaking thing away. Okay, Brian. Okay, you have to ask me. Okay, okay, Brian. Ask him if he thinks if I'm attractive. Brian, do you think Laura Kane is attractive? He said no, in case you didn't hear that. Off the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling the truth. It would have been more awkward if it was said I was lying. Oh my God. <laughs> I know. Oh my oh God. My that God. sucked. No, that, what, uh, would you prefer, prefer that I was lying? Yes. That, it would be nice if you found me attractive. I think Eric thinks, uh, finds me attractive. I do. I find you oh, very I attractive. I find you attractive. I think you are objectively attractive. I found attra you, uh, thank you attractive. I, she stumbled over where she's lying. I think you are objectively <laughs> attractive. I just don't think, I'm not like attracted to you though. No. Like, obviously. I didn't ask that. I think you look better than you did 20 years ago though. Thank you. I actually mean that. When did you, well, just from just like just pictures, pictures. I'm like, oh, oh, Laura looks better now. Oh my God. When I, oh my God, I got to tell you something real quick. What? So I had to, I celebrated Christmas with Charlie since he was here, he and Maya. Cause I wanted to see them open up their presents. Cause half the time I send them up to Oregon and I never get to see them open their presents. And then Charlie is not, is he's like, you're, you're, he's like a texter. Like you are. Oh, like, if he doesn't text right away, he forgets. I'm like, oh. uh -huh. so I have to text. Did you open the presents? Did you like the presents? I'm um, hello. So I wanted to celebrate here and see him open the gift. So I found this video camera from, it's 20 years old. It was when Evan was a baby and Charlie was four and five. And I found these videos. I had them digitized because they're on high eight. I had the battery wow, replaced. That is old. Oh my God. I had the battery replaced. I got a new cord and I gave him the camera. For oh, that's Christmas cool. Because in the videos, when he was a little boy, all he wanted to do was take the camera and like shoot his sister. He didn't want to be in front of the camera. He wanted to be in behind the camera. So I'm like, this could be like a cool, like retro gift for somebody his age that might want to take some cool videos in a different way rather sure. than on a phone. And he's like, mom, this was so cool. I can't even tell you how awesome this is. It was in the original case and everything. Oh my God, that's really cool. And it works perfectly. And I got him like a converter thing i got them all the th so anyway it was really great shooting on film is super cool i yeah i know it's just you're such a good mom it's different thank you i love disposable cameras because they're they're easy to have developed and those are cool. kind of retro too look, i mean the pictures just look cool and mm -hmm. you don't know what you're gonna get until they are developed and that's yeah. kind of fun do to they wait. still it's sell digital cameras anymore digital uh -huh. that's all they sell or i mean oh disposable disposable, disposable. Yeah, yeah you can give a target they're pretty popular now but you know you take them to cvs and they'll develop them for like 15 bucks or something oh wow and i got um the high eight videotapes which are about this size on amazon they sell them of for course. like seven bucks it's like they have everything on there they so everything it was really really cool okay i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt now it's dirt time okay so on hulu starting over the weekend 
Paris and Love Season 2. Do I care about I, this? You should. Because oh, she and so. her husband... So, you know, she had the baby by surrogate that right. appeared out of nowhere. Right. <laughs> yes. Um, and that... Uh, so I've met Paris Hilton and the voice is, and you'll see it on the show if you watch it. Is it real? Is it high? No, is it crazy? Is it low? The, her normal voice is like deep and very regulated. And then she switches over in a, in a blink of an eye to the high pitched baby. that just makes her sound like me. It's, it is fascinating to watch. And that house, so they just moved from her house to a new house. Okay. She and the husband and the kid. In LA somewhere. Yes. Right? So the hilarious thing is <laughs> she's not prepped for a baby at all. Like it's just like somebody was having a sidewalk sale and she was like, oh, I think I want a baby. The nursery wasn't ready at all. She has like an au pair. I'm sure she had plenty of designer clothes though. For oh, yes. Baby. That does not really the the au pair does everything and she'll like wake up and all she does is take pictures of herself and then she'll be like oh mommy has to go she'll go in and the au pair will hand her the baby she'll feed it for like uh 30 seconds and then hand it back and then kiss the baby on the forehead and leave and the house looks like fao schwartz it does not look like a full grown woman lives there that's married with a kid. It there's stuffed animals. Or a everywhere. kid that can even play with the stuff that's in the house. Yet. Yeah. It's and there all the pictures are just of her. There's not any pictures in that there's pictures of her on the pillows that sit on an actual sofa. There are humongous, like this size of the backdrop behind us photographs of her hey it's working look at how much money she's making oh yeah she's a billionaire it's yeah but i i'm telling you it's the do you know she has an entire cookware um line, line mm -hmm. that they carry at walmart walmart and they're like sold out and the like the little tea infuser is a disco ball if that tells you anything That's like the, cute. the pots and pans are pink that's cute it's not cute. And then the tea kettle says that's hot on it. <laughs> that's cute. I'm okay. To to capitalize on her of course. Fame. I, I mean, mean she's doing it right, I guess. I'm gonna need a gimmick. All of her what? makeup though is at Ross. Did you know that? Like all of her nail I, polishes. I didn't even know she had makeup. Oh yeah, she's got eyelashes, she's oh. got like lipsticks and all the things. We should on the next show, I'm gonna Google every everything that she ha has. Because I know she's got perfumes. Oh, she, yeah, she, she does said that she's too. got like 32 perfumes or something. Who knew? Anyway. Okay, so do watch that show or don't watch that show? It's, I say watch it because it's fascinating. Okay. Like, uh, this, somebody that just lives in their own fame bubble, it, it is just hilarious. And she just had another baby via surrogate, a girl. Wait, what? Yep. That, that was the breaking news story. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> the the boy's name is... Shoot. This is my department, and I should yes. know this, but I don't. And the girl... It's named after a city. Okay. Well, anyway, continue. I can't anyway, and the daughter she just had. And, of course, she d did not have it vaginally or cesarean. Somebody else had it for her. So her body's still nice and tight. Oh, yeah. Her body's still nice and tight. Okay. Uh, Laura, you were right. I did not care about any of that. About the Paris stuff? Well, now I know. Does you anyone should. care about Paris anymore? Paris anymore? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I'm not. Oh. I wouldn't watch that. I would I would rather watch 90 Day Fiance any day, all the 90 Day Fiance. Oh, okay. well. How much do you guys think Nick Cannon spends a year at Disneyland? Um, okay, how many kids I'm going he, to has, tell you. he has? He has 11 kids. If he okay. takes them all, then I could at least see like a couple hundred thousand. Brian, winner, winner, chicken dinner. How much does he spend a year? 200 in? clams a year taking 11 sniffling brats to Disneyland. He gets all the stuff. He gets the backstage pass. He gets- like, Not he anymore. 
No, but he like he buys their oh. VIP experiences. Like that dude spends money there. Yes, of why course. wouldn't you? Why? Well, yes, if you could, why wouldn't you? Yes, most oh definitely. My God, and they're not free. No, they're not. He has to pay. And how much is it to get in to Disneyland now? Uh, like a one day pass, like one hundred eighty bucks or something. Yeah, it's yeah, it's crazy. And then expensive. the food, and then the because you can't take your own food in or walk or can you? Uh, yeah, you can. Oh, okay. I think. Gross. I haven't been to Disneyland in God, I don't know, fifteen years. It went a couple months ago. It's still Here's fun. another person yeah? I don't care about. Who? <laughs> oh yes, you do. Don't lie. No, I don't. Kim Kardashian has received some good reviews for her work on the current season of American Horror Story. I'd like to know who's reviewing her acting chops. Because did you watch it? Yes. And she's no bueno. Mm, I'd stick to taking selfies. But is she fun to look at? I mean. No. I, I think that people watch because she's so beautiful. She's so, mm. no, she's so pretentious. Yeah, not, I not an, really. I watched an interview with her about joining the American Horror Story cast, and she, God, I wanted to slap. No, that's me. But she's so pretentious. Yeah. Like she's so unlikable. Like I don't understand why people. And the like character her. on the show isn't really likable either. Yeah, she's just so like you know, and she has that very polished doll of a personality, but you mm. know it's fake. Like, and all the entire family, they all sound alike. Yeah, they're just, she's so Everything is sounding. very articulated. Well, it's working. I care so much they're about other people. I kids. care about them so much. Yeah. I'm such a thoughtful oh. person. Like, no one cares. No one thinks that. So the creator of American Horror Story, Ryan Murphy, has just made a colossal mistake and cast her in this new legal drama for Hulu. There's no word on the title. Kim will play LA's most successful divorce lawyer and the owner of an all female law firm. That's funny. She just got divorced. Yeah. I, wasn't she? A, did she pass the bar? Yes. Did she take the bar? She, no, all, she passed the first thing. What's yes. the first level? LSATs. Yes. The LSATs that's, just yeah. the, that's just the entrance exam. Right. I don't know if she's passed the bar yet. And she also recently booked a Netflix comedy film called The Fifth Wheel. Lucky her. She needs like she needs like more money. Like she needs yeah. any more money. Right. Taylor Swift will make $100 million off Spotify this year. She has already generated 26.1 billion streams on Spotify, which means she'll pocket 100 million in royalties from them this year. She's also just become the first artist to have a top 5 10 albums at the same time. I'm obsessed. Couldn't care less. I love her. Also, Apple Music is better than Spotify. Oh, speaking of I do Apple Music too, yeah. Okay, speaking of What's the deal? I went to play a song the other night while I was at the gym. It's totally grayed out, and I clicked on it. It says not available in this region any longer. Yeah, it probably just means that there's a dispute with the record holder and Apple Music. So it's my guess. I'm calling to get no my more money Kylie back. Minogue. Oh my god! <laughs> How <laughs> dare you? You can't listen to your precious Kylie Minogue. <laughs> my Kylie. God, that would be a blessing. If I she... know she was grayed out. John Lennon's last words have been revealed. What do you think they, well, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't even imagine. He was, well, he was, I was shot. Go, I was going to say, ouch, but it, right. it's oh God, I've shot. Been, oh God, I've been shot. Yeah. yeah. According to a new documentary on John Lennon's murder, John's last words were, I'm shot. And Lennon's killer did it because he thought John was a phony. Bummer. That was a bummer. That's too bad. They, cause they could have had a, like a, a reunion, a Beatles thing. I think the Beatles are overrated. You do. They they are good. They're fine. They didn't warrant the cultural. What about revolution that they got? Paul McCartney just solo. You don't think he's like he's fine. They did revolutionize music right, when they came, which I don't understand why. Like they're not bad at all, and I don't. I don't. I'm not surprised they were successful. I but I don't understand. Like the reason that they were so successful is purely circumstance of the kind of the cultural movement at the time, and they. The song Blackbird is beautiful. Yeah, it's it's a nice song, but there are lots of other nice songs, too. Brian, you're going to get a lot of hate for this, I think. That's okay. okay, Kate I McKinnon, mind. who I loved on Saturday Night Live, she will host for the first time. Um, she will be making her hosting debut on the 16th of this month with, of this month with musical guest Billie Eilish. Eilish. Oh, Eilish. speaking of Billie... Oh, Eilish. Eilish, eyelash, whatever. Um somebody just um outed her for being gay i think she just came out as a oh she did yeah. yeah oh wow mm -hmm. okay yeah you, adam well, driver was, is going to be doing it this coming saturday yeah, do for, we watch saturday night Live? no no who is who watches snl but i will watch it with kate mckinnon i love her 
I will do that. They've, and I, I like it. It's been funny in a while, though. In very sad news, very sad. Let's all bow our head in a moment of silence. Cardi B and Offset will f- have unfollowed each other on Instagram. Oh, God. Who Whatever. Cares? Whatever. Uh, Britney Spears' dad has his leg amputated after an infection, five surgeries, and no success. There are hints that she feels very bad for him and may reconcile with him. That's a bummer to lose your leg. Yeah. Also, I'm convinced she's unhinged. I like. I, I saw her Instagram the other day, and she's like talking about like just like this bra she was so happy to get, and I was like, this chick is crazy. And then another nude, like a backside nude. She well, yeah. she's talking about her bra, and then it, but then she this spent the whole video she posted was just her playing with her underwear. And I was like, <laughs> well, I mean, do you know how many bit videos I posted on Instagram with me doing that? <laughs> I would love to see those actually. <laughs> Anyways, well. You know what? You you might just I don't at the she, end of this month. We'll see. I don't think she's crazy. Oh. Crazy. Wait. What? Oh. See Eric playing around in underwear. Great. Okay. Possible. Great. Oh. Be the first time he wears underwear. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's why I got him. Oh some. boy. A big bag of boxer briefs. Right. Are we gonna have to wear what we got each other? We will try them on. I have special. I have special outfits for our last show of the year, which is going to be on the twenty first, and they are. Holiday outfits for me and for you. Oh my God, I can't wait. <laughs> and so they're excited. funny, but no, we're going to try on the stuff on that Monday night. Okay. Tuesday. Remember Mackenzie Phillips? Yes. Our friend Mackenzie? Yes. Yes. Uh, if you haven't read her book, it's Is a memoir. Alive? It's Yes. It's okay. called High on Arrival. Um, she was just on her sister, China Phillips from Wilson Phillips. On She has a podcast. Um, and she talked with her about Mackenzie's 10 year incestuous relationship with their dad, John. Oh, dude. Of she, which she got pregnant. Oh, from Wait, what? oh yeah, yeah. I've, yeah. I've heard that horrible story. Yeah. Is that like, Crazy. A, like a rumor or? No, it was. It's true. been around for a while. Yeah. Oh. And she's talked about it, yeah. And last but not least, the ever popular Jeffrey Dahmer's dad is dead at 87. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor guy had to live that much longer knowing that his son was a, just a complete monster. I wonder what kind of a buffet they had. <laughs> what, at the funeral? At the wake. At the wake? Oh, my God. You're sick. Uh, <laughs> uh, you are sick. Okay. Uh, now, I have several things coming up for Thursday's show, and I want to know too, I'm which- sorry. His dad didn't do anything, except for he's a complete psychopath, but- do we want to play? We have I have two different games. Oh boy! And you guys get to decide. Uh huh. We're either going to play a game called "That's Not Funny," which is a role playing game. That's oh. what you say anytime anything is funny. That's not funny. Exactly. Oh, well, we're going to see. Actually, that's the game we're going to play. Let's play Boom. it. It's called "That's Not Funny." It's a role playing game. Okay. And we play that game every week. <laughs> I'll explain. Yeah, we do. <laughs> that's not funny game. <laughs> yeah, that's what oh you my said. god. So you say every week. <laughs> I'm super excited. That wasn't funny, Eric. Hopefully this this goes off better than the lie detector test, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, and then we'll put your foot massager on our Amazon store, and I'll I'll make sure I do that. And then the Christmas box, we'll show you that again, and hopefully we'll have the link up for you guys to donate the five dollars for each time you want an entry into the contest. And That's to right. win the thou- the box worth the thousand dollars worth the at cool this stuff. time it could even get higher there could be more added to the box yes you're correct you are very correct because this yes. is early on in december and correct that, that is what's happening mm-hmm. um all right well guess what we're at the end of the show so good to be back thank you so much Wait, for are we playing the game no we're playing it on thursday oh sorry i missed that part yeah we're playing it on thursday <laughs> Thursday's episode, which, uh, well, I, I'm going to have to post this one tonight because we, we officially drop episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We drop it like it's hot. But someone had an award Hi, ceremony Jenny. Mm-hmm. My Jenny? Mwah. Oh, Jenny, my sister. Hi, Jenny. Yes, my what's sister up? from another mister. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, you guys, um, thank you for watching. Love you. Missed you. And we'll be back. Loved you and missed you. Loved you and missed you. I loved you and missed you. Do you want me to give you a kiss on your cheek so I, you, I leave a lip print? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, oh you're going to demote him from gold star to silver star. No, because it's no. not with her vagina. It's just, if, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't want to think. Eric, God. Here we go. Ooh, that's a good one. That mm, is a good yeah, one. Yeah, baby. That is a good one. All right. Eric is wrapping Hey, wait a minute. We value. didn't talk about Jody's party. Oh, 
Jody, our friend Jody, always oh. has a Christmas party every year, and it's a karaoke party. And let me just say that I picked a song that probably was the worst song that has ever been heard at her karaoke parties, which she's been having for many, many years. Yes. Don't ever pick the song mm. Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. It's too hard to sing. I've, I have pulled like, remember Cindy Brady in, and the Brady Bunch yes. where she saw the red light and went blank? Yeah. That's what happened to me. Uh-huh. It was very awkward and horrible. And then I fell back against uh, and sat on some man's lap. <laughs> of course you <laughs> yeah. did. It was a pretty- Was this after I left? When I fell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe you already left. Oh, boy. You know what I want to say is that for two years now, I keep getting told I'm going to be invited, and Laura always makes sure I don't get invited. <gasps> that is not true. Oh. No. I don't know. What Here, do you think let I me do? See, let me see the machine again. Okay. Ooh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Machine. Get the machine. Okay, Brian. Now, what were those correct instructions? Ow, your fingernail just stabbed me. Sorry. Put your finger I in put there. Put it on. Put your hand in there. Oh, there's the biting one. Okay, hold on. Let it, let it finish. Okay. Okay. Sensor. Now push start. Push start. Okay. Laura, do you make sure I don't get invited to this party? Now press start again. No, Brian, I definitely wanted you to come to the party. I don't say that. I don't disinvite you. Oh, th no, that was a bong. No, there's no teeth biting and I didn't get a I shock. Don't I don't know. Inconclusive. Laura, do you prefer that Brian not attend parties with us? No, I would love him to attend parties like Jody's with us. Inconclusive again. Mm -hmm. Is that what that is? I, I don't know. Anyway, it definitely wasn't conclusive. inconclusive. Okay, one more with you. Okay, Eric. Yes. Do you think I disinvite Brian from Jody's party? No. <laughs> okay, wait. It said it right. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> so no, your theory oh, is completely wrong and dumb. Know. It's dumb. All I'll say is both times judges invite me and she goes, oh, make sure you get give me Brian's email address or something. And it never happens. Oh, so I dropped the ball. Oh, you I didn't mean to drop. I, I just dropped the yeah, ball. Yeah, one time one time's an accident. Second time is intentional. Well, let me ask you this. <laughs> On a Saturday night. I was busy. Exactly. <laughs> Hello. I was going to say, would you have come? No. I w maybe I would have made a plant room. I mean, you were welcome to bring, you know, a plus one. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Well, okay. if I had been invited, of course. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll be back on Thursday with a really fun game and more about the magical holiday box. Love your podcast. Love your podcast. Oh. No. I missed you so much. No pageant waves. No pageant waves. I missed you very much. Thank you. I missed you and Brian. Give mm -hmm. us the good old pageant goodbye. You know what? He was gone for one week and never once called me or texted me. I texted you. Barely. Happy. Th I didn't call you or text you. Well, I expect that from you. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. He, I know. I suffer in that. <laughs> Just say it. Just say it. Just log love out. Love your podcast. There we go. I love you, my sweet babies. I can't <laughs> wait to see you again. Bye. <laughs>